is Julia Dutkevich. I'm a museum curator and welcome to the Guildhall Art Gallery. Over the past year, I have worked at the gallery developing the new displays of the collection and today I'm going to show you around. To coincide with its 15th anniversary, Gilton Art Gallery has undergone a radical rehang for the first time since the current building opened in 1999. We are currently in the main gallery, which showcases the city's collection of Victorian painting, which must be in the top 10 best collections of 19th century British art in the world. In order to enhance the period feel of the space, we have changed the wall colour from a rich civic red to a dark Victorian green, which is based on the avant-garde Grosvenor Gallery. We have also adopted the use of the traditional brass chain for hanging pictures, which is how they would have been displayed back in the 19th century. We have also installed false walls in order to create greater flexibility of hanging for large-scale paintings like the Tedesco. Through the imaginative use of space, making the most of the balconies and corridors, we've been able to double the overall number of paintings on display, so there's more art to see. Seventy percent of the paintings haven't been on show for a very long time, and 19 have never seen the light of day, like the three female figures behind me, exhibited here for the very first time. The new rehang aims to actively engage modern day visitors by addressing subjects which are of current relevance to life in the 21st century, for example leisure, work, love, the home, beauty and image, faith and imagination. The rehang challenges misconceptions about Victorian art being dated by showing that many key aspects of our lives today have their origin in the 19th century. had the chance to completely refurbish and relight it, to present the collection in new ways, show many pictures which haven't been seen in public view before. The rehang of the city's permanent collection comprises ten new thematic displays, including a radical rethink of the Victorian Gallery, as well as separate sections on the Square Mile, history and topography of London, and modern landscapes by Matthew Smith. 
The gallery is very fortunate to have the studio collection of Sir Matthew Smith, a collection which came to us um, by bequest in 1974. Matthew Smith is probably better known for his highly coloured portrait nudes, but as part of the rehang we've taken the chance to get out some of his lesser known landscape paintings, some of which are unfinished. These are very nice works that don't often get seen and we hope that visitors will rediscover Sir Matthew Smith um, as part of their visit here. Another element of the Guildhall Art Gallery rehang is in this space, our London Room, which shows 400 years worth of the city's art collection focused on London and its changing face over the course of history. Visitors here can see how the elements have affected London from the Great Fire to the Great Frost to um, images of the city's ceremonial occasions and views such as the Thames, the city bridges. Behind me here, this picture is um, Atkinson Grimshaw, 1884, the Thames by Moonlight, showing a different side of London, a quieter, softer, moonlit nocturne, um, which gives a real sense of intimacy of Victorian London. To either side of this picture, you have St Paul's in its context in different centuries, so the 20th to my right, slightly more abstract, bolder vision, to the left here with the 18th century, um, showing the people of London gathered on the Thames for the Lord Mayor's procession, with St Paul's standing in the background as we see it today. Other um, aspects of this hang include the city markets, um, the idea of people traffic and vehicle traffic in the 20th century. So there really is something for everyone in this room and a real kind of sense of the variety, richness um, and the quality of the city's art collection over 400 years. You probably don't know, this little gem is run by the City of London Corporation. They are the fourth largest contributors to the arts in the country. Here we have the Roman Amphitheatre and we also have our new Heritage Gallery where you will see various historic documents from time to time. This is part of the cultural hub. The Square Mile supports the Barbican Centre, the Guildhall School and the Museum of London. And this is just a a few of the things that you can come and see in this square mile. We are open seven days a week, admission free of charge. For more information, please visit our website. On behalf of the Guildhall Art Gallery and the City of London Corporation, I welcome you to come and visit. <laughs>